All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Uh, just a heads up, I'm working on the Philadelphia Brooklyn highlight. We're going to talk about that game momentarily. So for everybody who tuned into that one, I got y'all in like 20, 30 minutes. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm watching the Golden State Warriors game here, and um, some news hit. Right, it's a blowout game. I got it on right now. Uh, but uh, there's a storyline that's come out of this. So early in the first quarter, I'm about, about to play it in a second here. DeMarcus Cousins of the Golden State Warriors. I hate to say this, man, but uh, he went down with another injury. So let's play it, and then we'll talk about it in a second. I just got some news, and this is via Woj of ESPN, the most respected NBA portal we got going today. So you look, as DeMarcus Cousins is going for a loose ball off the steal, that is no contact. You know, those are always the worst injuries when there's no contact. I'm going to read you a tweet here from... Uh, Wojnowski of ESPN, again, as you see, DeMarcus Cousins tried to play it off, tried to keep playing, put some weight on it, and he's like, no, Steve Kerr, get me the hell out this basketball game. I cannot put any weight on it. So Wolves just tweeted this out. He said, there's significant concern that DeMarcus Cousins has suffered a torn left quad, but there won't be a complete, uh, there won't be complete certainty until his MRI, which will be tomorrow, all right? He got an MRI tomorrow. League sources are telling ESPN, that's via Wolves. The hope is it's just a strain. So hopefully it's a strain. Look, I know basketball fans out there were not the fondest of DeMarcus Cousins joining the Golden State Warriors because it gives them another all-star. I'm right there with you. I didn't like it when the move happened. But y'all know Cousins fought his way back. Anybody that knows basketball or follows the game of basketball, y'all know how hard this dude worked. So for those who don't know, last year DeMarcus Cousins around all-star break, he tore his Achilles right before all-star break. And he was in the, the best year of his career. Uh, he had made uh, he had became an all-star starter. That was the you know that was a, a very low point in Demarcus Cousins' career, probably the lowest for him. He fought back. Nobody wanted him last summer in free agency. He finally found a home with the defending champion Golden State Warriors. And for this injury, you can see he's visibly frustrated. And there is a picture floating around on social media. I'll actually get that picture up in a second here. Yeah, that didn't look good. That does not look good. Again, anytime there's no contact, you always, you're concerned. I'm thinking he just tripped, but if his quad gave out or uh, my girl is in medical, she was telling me something about his femur bone could be broke. Any of that, I mean, obviously he'd be out for the playoffs. Hopefully that's not the case. It is, hopefully it's just a strain, but that is, uh, Woj over there at ESPN is saying the, the belief is, He'd be out for the postseason with a torn left quad again. Now look at this picture here that's floating around online as DeMarcus Cousins. There was a camera of him trying to walk it off in the locker room. Uh, I don't even know how the hell he's walking. That looks disgusting. I don't know what the heck that means. Hopefully that's some swelling or something. I'm not. I'm not the medical guy. I just talk basketball. But uh, that doesn't look good. That picture's floating around social media. That doesn't look right. And uh, hopefully for the Warrior fans out there. It's just a strain. He could probably sit out. I mean, the, the Warriors are going to go up 2-0 here against the Clippers momentarily. He could just sit out the next game, right? And maybe even held the next two games in Los Angeles. Don't even make the trip. And then he should be good to go for the next series if it's just a strain. Or it could take him longer. He's a big dude. I don't know. But, again, a torn left quad, he's done. And I would hate that for that to happen for him. Uh, he is a free agent to be this, this summer. And I can tell you all this. Every time I try to ask people who would know about DeMarcus Cousins' interest in free agency, like what our team's really interested in, and it's not high, DeMarcus Cousins will probably be the beneficiary of a team who misses out on one of the top guys, like a, a Kawhi Leonard or a Kevin Durant or a Kyrie Irving or maybe even Kimba. Like if a team misses out on one of those guys, they might then look at a DeMarcus Cousins and overpay for him. He's not on the top of, of team's list right now. At this, at this very moment, I can tell you an uh, injury doesn't help anything because at that point, he'd be washed goods, right? There's already kind of like this concern to sign DeMarcus Cousins anyway because he's a big, heavy dude. He plays ground ball, right? And unfortunately for him, guys like him don't really get long-term deals like that. I remember Zebo kind of played the same brand of basketball that Cousins does, but Zebo found a home. I, I'm from Memphis, trust me. They loved him like no other. That ground pound around the rim type game. They gave him a big time deal. They loved him because he was very involved in the community. I think Cousins probably his best bet at a long term deal might have been in Sacramento, and they traded him. So I, I hate this for for Cousins. 
Hopefully it's just a strain. I'll keep you guys up to date when I get more details. That sucks, man. That that hurts. I, that, you know, I'm just a fan of the game. That hurts, though. I don't, I don't want to see anybody go out like that. As, as bad as I want the Warriors to compete, you know, and damn, now they only got four All-Stars. They'll be all right, but I don't want to see that for Cousins. Hopefully it's just a strain. Obviously, I'll keep you guys up to date on this injury and everything else around the NBA playoffs. Stay tuned to my platform, and please uh, stay tuned. In the next 30 minutes, we'll have both the Philadelphia Brooklyn highlight up, and then we'll also have the Clippers Warriors game that I am watching right now. That's actually closer than I expected. It's a, a four point game right now. The Clippers have come all the way back. I'll have that highlight for you guys momentarily. All right, I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities, I talk sports, I still represent the culture. I got the kids that who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.